guys welcome back so today's video is a collaboration with my other friend here on YouTube her name is Felicia she actually found me on Twitter and our names are the same so I asked her to do a collab with me and I thought it'd be cute to name it the two Felicia's and she came up with the top five must-haves of high-end products so that's what we're going to be talking about today so we decided to do a collab today with our top five must-haves for high-end products. We named it the Two Felicia's Must-Have High-End Products. <laughs> I hope that my light is not super bright. I am actually outside in natural lighting. And my hair is looking crazy because it is hot, 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 hot outside. Like, <sighs> So it was really hard to sit there and look at my collection and think, what are my top five? So I decided to do my top fives that I feel are going to be the best for the fall slash winter season. For those of you who are really dry skin, you probably will appreciate this video because it will give you insight on some things you can try out. So let's start off with the face product. So the first thing, if you guys watched one of my videos, my spring trains video, I did speak about this and let you guys know about it. It is the Stila Perfect and Correct Foundation. This is a foundation that I use during the winter because I am super dry. And I love this because it has hyaluronic acid, so that jelly that's in there. It's hyaluronic acid, so it's going to feel very cooling to the skin and it's going to hydrate the skin. Hyaluronic is a natural form of what our body makes, which is water. So it's a fancy schmancy word for water. It also helps blur out imperfections, fine lines, redness, um, and it has a built-in moisturizer, so you couldn't get more hydrating. For the clients that I touch, and they're like, oh, I don't know what my skin type is, and I'm like, oh, may I touch your face? And I'm like, oh, I'm like, ah, you're super dry. This is the one I recommend, because it's the only foundation that looks really good for dry skin. Every other foundation on a dry skin will look cracky and cakey. This does not do that. And it's great because it goes from a light to full coverage depending on how many layers you do. Okay, so the next thing that I have here is the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Let me show you a little bit of it. There we go. So it's just this nice, nice dewy finish. Really great again for really dry clients. Uh, I don't know if you could see that little sheen. We put this all over the face and it's going to brighten and give life to the face. For those of you who are dull skin, dry, uneven texture, this is just going to give you like that boost that you need. What also is, I don't know if many of you guys know this, but Laura Mercier is the queen of primers. She is the first one to ever have come out with primers, so why not look into their stuff? So the reason why I'm doing mine a little bit different is because I feel like you find all the same products online. The MAC Pro Longwear, the MAC this, the little look. I want to do things that I think really are beneficial to you guys and make you think of other options out there. So definitely check into this. It's a really great primer and aside from that it's very hydrating because I can feel the hydration in there and it just gives you that J-Lo glow. Next is something, next is something I barely hear about too which is the Stila um, customizable self-adjusting blushes. This is the color coral. I've been wearing this a lot this month. I'm actually wearing it right now. And it gives you this nice, beautiful warmth. So it adjusts to your pH balance in your skin and will give you your perfect shade. So not many people talk about their blushes. They're actually their blushes are very pigmented and they give you this natural beautiful finish. So I really encourage you guys to check them out. Let me do a swatchy swatch. And there you have it. So, so this next product you guys hear about all the time, but I couldn't not go through my collection and not include this because it's just everything. It is probably my favorite highlighter of all time. It gives me life. And that is the Becca Opal highlighter. I love to use this as eyeshadow too because it just enhances. It's really, really beautiful. This beautiful champagne color, like this true champagne color. A lot of them have like a white undertone or a pink undertone. This actually has that beige undertone. So definitely check out Becca. Okay, the last, last thing. Okay, so the last thing that I have as my 
top five is going to be the Eve Pearl. Um, Eve Pearl powder, Invisible Finish Powderless Powder. Normally for dry skin, you don't want to do a powder because powder will emphasize the fine lines, emphasize the pores, make you look more dry and cracky. And, you know, you don't want to do any kind. So with this, it's actually almost like a... So with this, it's almost like a, it is like a cream powder. So what's great about this, you take it with a stippling brush and just lightly dust it on the face and it's going to set your makeup without compromising the makeup. And it's not a powder, so it's not gonna give you that powder flaky finish. It's just gonna set your makeup beautifully. And this is great for all skin types. So you can be oily and still be dry, which means your skin is dehydrated. You can still try this out and it'll take up those oils as well. I have a full video on this too with the Eve Pearl. I'll link it down below so you guys can see how she really uses it in depth. Okay, the only thing for me and the problem that I had is I could not not include one more thing. And it is what I am wearing on my lips and it is the Urban Decay Revolutionary Lipsticks. Now the reason why I really love these is because they're super hydrating. They give you this beautiful cream finish. They do not bleed and they last a really long time on the lips. Once they dry down, I want to say like two, maybe three hours in, it's almost like a stained semi-matte finish. It's beautiful and it lasts and I've had drinks with it and it still stood. So it's probably one of my favorite lipsticks and yeah, that is it. I hope you like my top five or more like top six. And until my next video, I'll see you next time. Mwah.